What sort of video should I make? We get asked this pretty often. And so today we thought we'd have a, a bit of a breakdown into what sort of videos you could make and why they're useful for different things. Yeah, I think that why is all important. And we do get asked this question a lot from our clients. What type of video should I make? And the answer really isn't um, this type or that type. It's really about that why that you mentioned, about why you need the video and what it's trying to do. So let's break it down. All right, so I think probably the first thing to understand is that Usually when you're making videos, you probably make more than one. And we talked about that in another film that we've created for this series, but you definitely want to make more than one video. That's right. So let's break down some different types of videos. You've got all types. You've got an overview video. You've got an about us video. You've got an explainer video. You've got a case study video. You've got a how-to video. You've got an immersive, you know, short documentary style video. You've got animations. You've got all types of things. So perhaps we'll just talk about three that we're most commonly asked about. And we'll start with the about video, the about us video. This is a really common video that people want, usually for their website, but also because they can send it to potential customers or clients. There's so many uses for an about video. What yeah, you look, I think the about video is most useful for people who are researching you or your organization. And because that's the motive for people wanting to watch an about video, it tends to be longer than a social media video, which might be 120 seconds, 90 seconds, 45 seconds for platforms like Instagram and Facebook. Whereas about videos are often three to five minutes long because they give you a bigger view, which is really what you want to encourage. Um, with people who are researching you. Mm, they're a deep dive and the only thing I would recommend when you're looking at creating an about video is make sure your video actually tells people what you do. You would be amazed how many about videos you watch and you get to the end of it and you think, I still don't actually know what this company is about. So you gotta make sure that you have that why in place. Why are you telling people about your business or your company or your whatever it is that you're telling them? and make sure it's really clear. Look, the next type I think we should talk about is the case study video or the video that tells a single story about something that you do or somebody that you work with. Uh, that might be a consumer um, that you're working with and helping. It might be someone in your organization, it might be yourself. But this is the case study that really explains what you do through a story and we already have heard in other videos in the series how powerful stories are. That's right and case studies are incredibly useful at really showing people what you're trying to communicate and what the outcomes of that could be. That's right so what's the third type you want to break down today? I think testimonials because this this comes up time and again and I think the thing with testimonials that I got asked even just as recently as a few days ago was can I just get someone to give their testimonial to the video on their laptop and just use that in my video? I know you've got opinions on this. I think the answer to that for me is no, because we're really sick of those Zoom, Teams, WebEx type communications now. And if you're going to go to the effort of doing the rest of your video in a professional way, why would you then insert something that is so lo-fi? So I'm going to say no to that one. Yeah, for me, I, I think if you have the opportunity to create a testimonial video that's much more high quality, good lighting, controlling the background, all of those sort of production elements, you're going to get a way better result. I would only do a testimonial to a, you know, an iPhone or a um, laptop if that's your only option. If it's the only option, it's better than no option. But if you can do it to a, a camera and edit it properly, you're going to get a way better result. Totally agree with that. So if you want a comprehensive list of all the different video types, visit the blog um, link to this video in the show notes. Uh, but I also want to ask the big guy in the sky what his favorite top three videos are. Okay, voiceover guy. Epic trailers, narrated video explainers, and commercials, and use voiceover artists. They are the best videos. There you have it. Okay, so there are lots of different types of videos and hopefully you're getting a sense now about what type of video you're trying to make. But actually you might need to make multiple different types of videos, even if they're versions on one another. So for example, if you're going to do an overview video, that's going to be a more generalist video for a general audience and it's not going to be tied to a really specific call to action necessarily, like a case study video might be. So different types of videos do different things. Your thoughts? I think the type of video you choose is going to have a massive impact on 
the outcome you get from that video, you know, an about video is informative, mm -hmm. a testimonial video is giving people that real sense of, you know... Social proof. Social proof. Credibility, reputation. Throw to Mike. Um, and Throw yeah, to so <laughs> I absolutely agree. The type of video you choose is definitely going to have an um, influence on the impact that that video has on your audience. Right on. So let's move on to the last thing, which is really about what the type tells you about the video production process. And this is where I think it's so helpful having a type or a genre defined before you roll camera. Absolutely. So if we take the testimonial example, if you're creating a testimonial video, obviously, you know, you need someone to give that testimonial, which means you need to figure out where are they located? How, uh, how do you want them to tell the story about your business? Are you going to interview them? Are you going to provide them with questions ahead of the shoot? All these different things. And then you know exactly what type of shoot you're going to achieve. Whereas if you know they're in a different country or something, you, you might have to organise a crew overseas to go and visit them and um, send that footage back to you. So it does have a huge impact on it, the way you do it. Yeah, totally. And if it's an about video, you know that that's for people who are researching you. So the way you start the production process is you ask what questions do our audience have about us that we can answer in this video. So it really helps you defining the type of video or the genre of the video in terms of how you go about your production. Taking the about video example, um, also, you know, you're going to want to show where you work from. If you've got an office, you're going to want to show the office. If you've got um, a factory or a warehouse or whatever it is, all those different elements are going to feed in and you might want to show a number of different locations. It's so dependent on, you know, what you're trying to show and who you are and what you are about. But there's probably going to be a lot more um, overlay footage and other things going on as well. All right, great. So if people want to find out more, what should they do next? You should go and check out Video Types and Their Uses. It's a video we did in Series 1. It's episode number 22, and we go into way more depth on a lot of these different types of videos. So you'll get heaps of more information and inspiration over there.